This is Dirt Track Speedway. Video highlights from Episode 4, May 24, 2017, presented by Fast Chefs by Axel Exchange. They're not just fast, they're first. Get a hold of Pat Fagan and the crew, fastchefs.com. So coming up on tonight's show for us tonight, and then before we leave tonight, uh, I think we ought to salute those fallen heroes. It is Memorial Day weekend, after all. And we'll talk more about that as well. A video I produced for uh, K98.5, the radio station I work for. A great salute, I think, anyway, to the fallen heroes. And that's all and more with tonight's edition of Dirt Track Speedway, presented by Fast Chefs. Aerial coverage tonight being brought to you by Tush Beer, the premium beer of Artifice Speedway, which is what you're looking at right now. When you get thirsty, just go out and grab a Tush. Tush beer. Some new additions you can see there. The grandstands has uh, been full, so they added a small little bleacher section there. In fact, a new grandstands is going to be coming in the next week or so. And also a couple of new billboards there. You can see the Dirt Track Speedway and uh, Fast Shafts as well. And we're going to be having a race here soon, the first ever Fast Shafts invitational where a driver out in the state of Iowa has a chance to win a drive shaft thanks to Pat Fagan appreciate uh, Pat's support uh, uh, from fast shafts and they're going to be giving away a dr uh, drive shaft and we'll have details next week basically you're going to nominate your favorite driver or you drivers themselves yourselves can nominate I'm not going to mention who's nominating who so just get it in there and then uh, over the next week we're going to uh, have six or so drivers get pulled out and then in a couple of weeks we're actually going to be staging a race to take place on Artifice Speedway, so make sure you tune in for that coming up in the weeks the ahead. Of but weeks, the next couple of you'll weeks, you'll have an opportunity. You'll get the details and the email address. There's going to be a special email address each show in order for you to nominate your driver. Uh, we have the right to be able to choose what we do for our fun and our entertainment, or for a living for that matter. And this weekend is one of the weekends that we salute those that provide that opportunity for us. So I wanted to share a video because I'm very proud of the fact that we do have those freedoms. We can go where we want. And to be honest with you, we can bitch about the things we want to bitch about. As long as it's in fair taste, of course. Yelling fire in a crowded theater isn't exactly freedom of speech. And I wish some more people would realize that. Nevertheless, there are just people that do get it. That we cannot take our freedoms for granted. There are a lot of people that laid their lives down in order to protect our way of life, our choices of freedom. And this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, although I want everybody to have fun. It is the official kickoff to summer. Uh, there's a lot of family activities, camping. Uh, racing is a big weekend, Memorial Day weekend. And I want everyone to go out and have a great time. And Mother Nature, I'm going to get you if you don't let us race. But nevertheless, don't forget the reason why we memorialize on this weekend. Memorial Day isn't about the soldiers that we currently have, although you, you should say thank you for those, but it's the ones that paid the ultimate price in order to grant us those freedoms and the opportunities to have the freedom of choice. So I want to play a little video that we put together, uh, that I put together for uh, the radio stations I work for, Town Square Media Waterloo at K98.5 more specifically, about saluting those that we have lost. Memorial Day is a day of ceremonies and speeches. Throughout America today, we honor the dead of our wars. We recall their valor and their sacrifices. We remember they gave their lives so that others might live. When he spoke at a ceremony at Gettysburg in 1863, President Lincoln reminded us that through their deeds, the dead had spoken more eloquently for themselves than any of the living ever could, and that we're living could only honor them by rededicating ourselves to the cause for which they so willingly gave a last full measure of devotion. Most have kept their experiences private, but most have been strengthened by their call to duty. A grateful nation opens her heart today in gratitude for their sacrifice, for their courage, and for their noble service. Let us, if we must, debate the lessons learned at some other time. Today, we simply say with pride, thank you. So you can enjoy that as well. I want to thank everyone who tuned in for uh, tonight's broadcast, episode four tonight of Dirt Track Speedway. Episode five will be coming up next Wednesday night. A week from tonight, we'll do it one more time. Uh, and get out and enjoy some dirt track racing. If you want to share something that you guys did over the race weekend, either uh, fun with family and whatnot, uh, tag me or Dirt Track Speedway, and we'll try to share it during the heat races. We'll filter through and pick out the best ones for the night. Uh, or for the weekend for next Wednesday, 9 o'clock. For Fast Shafts Actual Exchange, Pat Fagan, thank you. My name is Bucky Doerr, and this has been Dirt Track Speedway.